movieweb.com. So I really enjoyed the movie. I wanted to um, begin by asking you guys, you know, both of you have been known for being in sort of lighter fare, you know, mm -hmm. more comedies and different stuff. Were you looking for a film like this, for a dramatic piece to sort of get to work those chops in, or did the film just kind of come on your door and you said, oh wow, this is something I need to be a part of? Yeah, I've been a part of the film for a long time. I, um, I was an executive producer from like right as Ryan started writing the first draft and um, you know something that we'd been talking about for a while and you know didn't come around and get shot for like three years after that so it wasn't really about you know specifically searching out a dramatic role as you know I feel like I'm just always looking for things that I can you know get excited about and connect to. So. What was it that excited you? Well as an executive producer, I what excited me was Ryan's vision and, and just that it felt like a unique perspective that was that was aimed at telling an authentic story that, that the soldier themselves could relate to and that their families could relate to. So that's why I signed on as a producer and then I didn't intend to act in it. Um, but as I got closer to the subject and closer to the, you know, the people behind the subject, it felt natural and a little bit of um, an obligation to kind of go in and and tell it with compassion for for these people. So. Yeah. And how did the role come to you? And, and, and what? what mm -hmm. was well, you know, I, I, I you always uh, you oftentimes you figured, okay, well, you've ch close to a chapter in your career. You know, what will be the next? And uh, I've. Um, you know, I've traveled the world, you know, uh, visiting the troops. I've been to Iraq and Afghanistan, you know, and I've, I've met thousands of soldiers and heard hundreds of stories. And and I felt that this was uh, something I felt very passionate about. So I tried to find the right script. And, and uh, I read a lot of scripts with the subliminal, you know, political agenda. And that's not something I was very interested about. I thought that that it was very important to find a movie that represented on the, you know, the next chapter of that that topic, you know, which was, you know, the human emotion behind our soldiers. You know, I think that that was, that was the thing that drove me the most. And I, when I read the script and, and I knew America would, you know, America and I have been friends for a lot, for many, many years. And I, and I just thought, you know, wow, this is something really unique, very different, you know, it really, um, this could happen to anybody, you know, um, and, um, and it was so authentic, and it was so true to what it was, you know, what it is like, you know. And I, I just drew super passionate, and I convinced them to let me be in it. And uh, and it was, uh, and it was just a, a wonderful, you know, team. You know, we went and 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 uh, researched uh, the rest of the of the topic and and understood it uh, as much as we could, you know. But. Um, but we're very blessed, man. I really believe this movie uh, has definitely struck a chord, you know, and and uh, we've showed it to uh, you know to hundreds of soldiers already, and um, and the reception has been really touching because you know you you work on a movie like this and you and you really believe that this subject needs to be you know highlighted, and then when you see the soldiers, um, you know, being emotionally affected by it, you know, you understand that okay, we're on the right path to start this conversation and it's it's a blessing to be in this situation and we are proud to be the movie that hopefully, you know, can start a conversation and that lets people know this is not a political movie and this is a movie that talks about our men and women, our brothers and sisters and to better understand them is to, to get a clue about what's happening with us as a national community. And I and I think that that's, that's exciting, man. That's exciting. So I think I, I encourage everybody to go to, you know, the, the dryland.com and check out the dates or where the movie's going to come to a city near you because um, I really believe you guys will be pleasantly surprised.